relax all muscles in the body now take deep breath in and breathe out slowly as i count with each breath relax 1 2 3 4 breathe in breathe out slowly two breathe in breathe out slowly Three, breathe in, breathe out slowly. Four, breathe in, breathe out slowly. Five. Breathe in. Breathe out slowly. Now just relax. just relax and witness your breath let the breathing happen as it happens in deep sleep do not use your will to breathe instead just be a witness of the breath just be an observer of the breath feel your breath and enjoy the breath when somebody asks where are you
we say i am here where are you i am here that means we identify our presence in a given location we identify our presence in a given location a localized presence a localized existence our existence is recognized in a small location now consider your existence your existence seems to be confined to this body the vedanta teaches that your existence is not confined to this body you are all pervasive therefore it is important to recognize our all pervasive existence when we are trying to assimilate the teaching of vedanta we have to make effort to comprehend our all pervasive existence therefore visualize an object that is present near you let us take the chair the chair that you are sitting in your existence and the existence of the chair existence confined by your name and form and the existence confined by the chair there is no difference in the existence existence is one and the same 
what is different it is only the name and form nama roopa nama roopa are different existence is same not different therefore expand yourself into the chair by understanding that the chair exists on your existence there is no difference between the existence that is you and the existence that is the chair expand yourself to the chair the chair does not exist independent of your existence it is your existence that lends existence to the chair therefore as existence you are pervading the chair with this understanding extend yourself to the chair you are in the chair as the existence now expand the scope of your visualization think of the entire room this room there are a few people sitting there are various objects table chair microphone and so on even their existence is your existence expand yourself further to encompass the entire room you are pervading this chair now expand per further think of the houses nearby the road the trees and expand yourself all the existence around is your existence therefore you are pervading the house you are pervading the car you are pervading the trees expand yourself make yourself free from the confinement of this body then visualize a broader spectrum visualize the entire globe 
the planet earth the existence on the earth is your existence the entire planet earth with all its rivers oceans islands continents mountains you pervade everything there is no difference between your existence and the existence that pervades the planet earth now expand further visualize the entire solar system the sun various planets satellites all revolving around the sun and expand further various stars the boundless space with the various stars multitude of stars the galaxies you pervade everything in fact you pervade everything that you can imagine and you pervade everything that is beyond your imagination therefore your existence is not confined to a given place understand your all pervasive nature the existence that pervades everything is your nature you are the existence the vedanta calls it sat you are the sat your swarupa is the sat therefore you are sat swarupa sat is your swarupa the boundless existence therefore say to yourself sat swarupaha aham sat swarupo ham sat swarupo ham sat swarupo ham and abide in your nature that is pure existence all the names and forms are projected on the pure existence 
the names and forms are variegated there is diversity in names and forms there is no diversity in the existence there is no diversity in sat just like the gold in a shop of jewelry say to yourself sat swaroopo ham sat swaroopo ham i am sat swaroopo sat swaroopo ham sat swaroopo ham the nama roopas change destruction is a change in nama roopa when the table is destroyed what happens the table breaks into some pieces then you cannot call it table it loses the name table because it has lost the form table the table form is lost therefore the table name is also lost but the existence is not lost because the same existence is found in another name and form the pieces the parts therefore you being the sat is free from all destruction the names and forms that confine you to a local to a localized identity they vary they keep changing but the sat your swaroopa is free from changes therefore you are free from destruction therefore you can be free from insecurity because the sat is never destroyed sat swaroopo ham sat swaroopo ham sat swaroopo ham
शांति स्लोली कम आउट ऑफ मेडिटेशन एंड ओपन द आईज़